Welcome to the sauce, my shut up. Listen, chat. Today we will be looking at the deleted tweets of Mike Wang. He tweeted a lot about 2K22. They were important because they gave us details about the game because we actually have none. And today they don't even update us and it's a Monday. So hopefully we get information Tuesday because Mike did delete all these tweets. Good thing I saved them and got them screenshot so we actually get an understanding of the game we're playing September the 10th when the game actually dropped. The question somebody asked. What's most important is us using the controller. Will the muscle memory of dribbling be the same or will we have to learn how to dribble again? And Mike answers that by saying, dribbling is probably closer to 20 than 21 control wise because holding a pro stick always shoots like 20, but there are new moves and combos you're gonna want to learn. So if we go over to 2K20 right now and compare it to 2K21, I will show you exactly what this tweet means. Now that we're here on 2K21, you looking at Stephen Curry just constantly dribble the ball. That's because I'm holding the right stick in a certain direction. As long as you hold the right stick up, your player is going to do dribbles. If you hold the right stick to the right, to diagonal, you dribble. This wasn't the case in 20, which is why he's saying the dribbling in 22 gonna be like 20. You can't just hold the stick up no more. You see, he's doing his size up unlimited. And if I walk backwards, he's doing a walking size up. No matter what, he's going to dribble as long as I'm holding the right stick. Now take a look at 20. We're on 2K20 now, and this is what dribbling a 22 gonna be like. You see how I just shot the ball? I'm not even dribbling, cause I'm holding it. If I tap it, I'm tapping up, that's his size up on 20 because you tapping it. It's not no animation where you hold the stick. You can't hold it. I'm tapping the right stick in these directions. I'm tapping it. But as soon as I hold it, it forces me to shoot the ball. That's the difference. You can't hold to dribble, you have to tap it. And this was gonna be like in 22. If you hold the pro stick, it always shoots just like 20. That's what this tweet is summarizing. Question they ask Mike, no, oh wait. <laughs> read the wrong thing can we dribble after a step back using square again that's another question on 20 if you tap square you can dribble out of your hop shot so let's see what mike wang has to say about that no but you can if you trigger the shot with the pro stick the pro stick if you hold it it'll force you to shoot but Mike is telling you, if you begin to shoot with the pro stick, you can then recover your dribble. So let's take a look at 20 because this is the most accurate way of portraying 22. Now we back on 20. So look, if you tap square, you get to dribble out of your shot. But you won't be able to dribble out of this on 22 unless you do this with your right stick. If you hold the right stick, you see how it's forcing me to pick up? I did that with the right stick on 20. I'm, I'm doing that with the right stick because it's uncomfortable to do. But right here, the right stick, I'm doing it with the right stick and I'm able to dribble out of it. So this is what you're going to have to do on 22 if you want to keep your dribble alive out of the hop shot. Final question of dribbling. Will animation slash SIGs be limited per position? For example, will we see a power forward or a center able to use curry slide and other animations if their playmaking is high? Or will certain animations be locked to certain positions? Me personally, I'm in favor of dribbling being locked per position but if y'all don't agree with that i understand we're in a modern era most big guys can dribble but at the same time they aren't dribbling as well as stephen curry or kyrie irvin so those animations should be limited to guards because only guards are dribbling like kyrie and, and steph curry those are the only two people that got the elite level of dribbling in the league nobody nobody dribbling like them and we can all agree with that so anyway Mike Wang respond by saying we're gating more animations based on the size and ability this year. So if you're a certain size, you can't use certain moves. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments because big men are not going to be getting the same moves as the guards. 
I don't think they were doing that in the previous years, but even if they was, he's trying to say they're not going to have as the same access to those moves. Most of y'all can still probably find out dribble combos for non-dribbling builds. That happens all the time. There's a lot of people with under 70 dribbling that people know that knows how to dribble. And people with under 80 dribbling that find out how to dribble with pro moves. Nonetheless, bro, people going to find a way to get the job done if that's how you want to play the game. The topic Mike Wang talked about was the seasons. The reasons that we're here. The seasons, you feel me? So, new seasonal animation content drops for my players only. The goal is to keep the game fresh all year long and encourage players to use signature moves they otherwise may not have. Don't worry, there will still be a ton of variety to choose from at launch. I'm bringing this up in the dribbling video because this basically means you'll get new dribble animations throughout the whole 2K cycle this year. This is going to be the first year they actually update moves that you may or may not like that get added into the game. He said in a tweet that the curry slide is something that will get added throughout a season. So that shows you right there. It's a move that you may like or may not. You may not like the curry slide. But for a fact, it's something that will come back into the game but wouldn't be there at launch. So that shows you the variety of moves that's coming and going throughout the game as far as dribbling obviously the seasons go into other animations jump shots it should be layups it should be dunks it should be dance moves i don't care but it should be more than just dribbling but dribbling is just one of the features that could add in a new wave of animations we'll definitely hear more about this as they actually try to sell us the game because i don't feel like they actually trying to sell it because they doing a bad job at promoting it if we being honest but let me know what y'all think in a 2k22 in this in this video that i just prepared for y'all we how do y'all feel about dribbling going back to 20 me personally the dribbling of 20 isn't what i liked it for i mainly like 20 for the shooting and the defense so the fact that dribbling is going back to 20 i don't know what to say or think about that but nonetheless 21 does have a bad taste in my mouth just off of everybody doing a speed glitch and the fact of it going back to 20 lets me know that people hopefully aren't speed glitching like they used to let let me know what y'all thinking about this down in the comments but other than that chat we gonna leave it right here we got a lot of information that mike wang deleted good thing reese ain't delete none of these out his computer because if i would have emptied out the trash we wouldn't have had none of this we wouldn't have had none of this information i wouldn't able to been break it down to y'all so chat let me know what y'all think about dribbling going back to 20. other than that chat hit that button that say subscribe and get out my face chat i got a burp or whatever's going on